Okay, so today we celebrate phase one of the Geisen Parkway. So we know it's not completed, and I know we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. Um, I just wanna say I had nothing to do with that parkway. I'm not taking any credit for it. Um, but back in April, when I mentioned to Pastor Craig that Kathy and I were thinking of having a uh, music youth group reunion, he thought, well, it'd be great to bring the past with the present together. So that's why we're here today. Um, and I want to thank Pastor Craig for all his energy towards the beautification of the parkway. Um, sure, it could be named after anyone. It was his brainchild. He put his blood, sweat, and tears into the endeavor, and he has been the, the driving force behind it. I, so thank you. Thank you so much. Um, so 49 years ago, on September 8, 1969, the Geisens arrived at WHCC. I was going into the fourth grade, so there's like, you know, we're getting kind of hazy here, like Debra says she arrived at fourth grade, and then Kathy, you know, when I arrived was in fourth grade, so we're getting, you know, we're getting confused, but Debra is a year older than I, so um, anyway, just to put things in perspective, um, Kathy and I are the same age. Um, my parents were here for 21 years, but before that, they were at Hollywood Beverly Christian Church for 14 years doing the same exact thing. So it's kind of hard for me to wrap my head around that. Like, wow, like when I was, before I was nine years old, they were doing all of this, what they did here at WHCC. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of grateful for Kathy and Debra giving their perspective of my parents and what they meant in, to them. I'm taking a different approach, and I'm going to share some artifacts. So these are the flyers that Kathy mentioned that were mimeographed, and I found them. So um, the first one has to do with going to Pilgrim Pines for retreat. And I have to print it out. These are, these are fading. But we were working on Oklahoma, and I was in high school at that age. And my mom says, this is Bertie, she says, as you can see, we need one more car. If no one else can drive, then we'll need a parent to bring up four more kids and another parent to come up on Sunday and pick up. And she says, phew. Arrangements can be made for them to stay overnight if they wish. It is a lovely country, and it would make a nice outing. And I just think, for some reason, like she had to like motivate us to get a parent to take us up to Pilgrim Pines. So um, in the same flyer, in three different places, she put little hearts. And it says, Brent, Brent. We love you. Brent's here. And I don't know why my mom would do that. She, she put little hearts, and they're, it's hilarious. Brent, what did, what did we do to like, get you upset? I'm not sure. So anyway, um, on the next flyer, it's about a sermon that she wrote. And it's one week before our show. And I just want to back up the Devery was not in the show because she was at Taft High School performing in a lead for Oklahoma A.D. Lanny, right? So she didn't get to go to uh, Pilgrim Pines with us. But anyway, here's a sermon. Okay, you guys, you know you're all neat kids and we are all one big happy family. Let's try super hard to stay that way. No little clicks. Let's include everyone in all activities. We'll all be happier have, better sh have a better show and love each other even more. Then she put in all caps at the very bottom, no radios, no tape decks, no pot, no liquor. <laughs> so, she was tough. And then in the last flyer, this is uh, Showtime, and she uh, has, has pretty much said, um, we're going to have a cast party after the show, but I put this under the category of volunteers. This is what she did, is that the boys have to put away the platforms on Saturday and help Turkey Productions load their equipment. Abel, Arndt, Belin, Elliot, Ellis have to clean up the kitchen until it is spotless. Kay Gerber, Geisen, Lanius, Miller, Mowers clean up the sanctuary and vacuum for Sunday a.m. Pum, Staub, Smith, Thompson, and Yokomoto clean up choir room next to the sanctuary and the women's restroom. So 
my mom was a taskmaster. It's, it's amazing how she got that. But by the time I was in high school, she was a professional like, taskmaster. Um, so to keep this brief, I have these, these two other flyers here. One is for the youth musical, and the other one's for Choir Sunday. So we had all these different choirs performing on the same exact night. And so to go through it quickly, uh, Kathy already went through the different age groups. So we have Pilgrim Choirs be here at 7.30, Friday and Saturday night, come to room 102 in the Doty Building, wear your costumes. Chapel Choir, Thursday, May 19th, 4 to 6, as dress rehearsal, uh, it is a dress rehearsal, wear your entire costume. On Friday and Saturday, come at 7, go to Smith Lounge. Mothers or fathers, I need more people for makeup. If you like to do this sort of thing, call me. Pathfinders dress rehearsal Wednesday, the 18th at 6.30. Be here on Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock and go to Harder Hall for makeup. Youth choir dress rehearsal on Thursday, 6.30 to 9. Please wear your entire costume, including pantaloons. We were, we were working on Oklahoma. Um, and then she put girls. <laughs> the boys, be sure to wear your hats. Um, this is a close to visitors, only cast and tech crew, please. And then Friday and Saturday, be here at 7 o'clock. Soloists, be on time if you want to warm up. Otherwise, I'll be with other choirs. And it's signed Verdi and Lloyd. And then on Choir Sunday, which is fondly known as Music Sunday here, um, she has a list of choir, time, and room. So Cherub, which you don't know about, they were even the younger group. I think they were th uh, second and third grade. Um, they had to meet at 9.30 in room 101, Pilgrim at 10 o'clock, 102, room 102, this is in the Doty building. Chapel Choir, 9.45 in Smith Lounge, Pathfinders, 9.30 in Harder Hall, Youth Choir, 9.30 in the Sanctuary, Chancel Choir at 10 o'clock in the chapel. And then it says we'll line up at 10.29. And for those that remember queuing up outside, it is one of those things that it, would, it all happened in the color coordination, right? So it just, the line, it was just snaked around out front. It was, it was fun. So then um, the last thing my mom wrote was, after church, there will be a luncheon in honor of the Chancel Choir. Plan to stay with your family, bring a hot dish, salad, or dessert. Unless you are a Chancel Choir member, you are being honored. And I think the last thing is, um, choirs, please be on time. We have so many to organize and rehearse and line up, B and L. So, that is kind of what we went through in a year, probably in, in two months. Um, and I just want to just finalize it. Yeah, it was 21 years that my parents were ministers of music here. It was a part-time job for them, but they gave it full-time attention. They were successful because of the commitment from the families to get to weekly choir practice, Sunday services, choir retreats, dress rehearsals, and performances. So thank you for honoring my parents, and thank you for being here, and I just look forward to seeing what the kids can do going forward.